Hello. This video is about stable IDs and how you can benefit from their usage. What you see on the screen here is a master detail app generated from the respective template in SAP Web IDE. A look under its hood by means of the Chrome developer tools will reveal what IDs are generated automatically by the UFI framework. Let me inspect an element. This one has ID header-title. This doesn't really tell us anything about where in the code the header title is programmed, does it? This would be particularly unpleasant if you imagine we had several header titles in our app. In addition, this ID would be different if the app ran in a different environment. To improve this, let's now set stable IDs for each element and see how our result changes. We go to the SAP Web IDE and open the detail view. There, we'll give the object header the ID My Object Header. Then, we go to the index file and add the setting for the app ID with the value My App. Next, we go to the descriptor file and add an ID for the view. We go to the routing configuration and under target, we'll assign the detail view the ID my detail. Now let's see what IDs we get if we rerun our app. We are getting my app, my detail, my object header, dash title. The entire ID now clearly indicates how these individual elements are clustered in the code by concatenating the individual element IDs to one representative ID. We can use the stable IDs also in the controller. I created a simple example to show this. We'll change the text by calling the ID of the text field. in addition to the button's ID to set it invisible. The reliability that stable IDs offer is also relevant for OPA tests. We don't need to build matchers if we already have a control with a stable ID. As you can see in the app, I added a button on the master view. To begin with, I use a matcher on the text Press Me to determine whether the button is there. You can imagine that I could have several master views and several press me buttons in an app. Thus, it would be more difficult for me to apply my individual button tests to the corresponding buttons. Now I'll change my OPA test to use the stable ID that is unique in the entire app. To do this, we go to the master.js file and add the ID my test button and remove the matcher code. Let's rerun our app. The test now also executed successfully, but more reliably. Apart from reliability, the horizon of possibility is widened by facilitating interesting functionality for app enhancement. In SAP UI 5, we have a so-called runtime adaptation app. This app allows end users to manipulate the UI. For example, add or remove fields, set on label texts, etc. Let me show you what that looks like. We just go to the so-called me area indicated by the person icon, and then we click on adapt UI to enter the edit mode. To change a field, we hover with the mouse pointer over a field and observe a little frame appear around the field. Then we can drag and drop it to where we want to position it, 
for example, to the bottom of the list. If we want to add a field, we can right-click it to get a menu of possible actions. We select Add Field to see what fields are available in the background. Let's select Base Unit and Is Active. After clicking OK, the fields are added to our UI. This is only possible with stable IDs. I hope this has been informative to you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.